All right, one more calibration. How's it work? Yeah, it looks looks fine. I got I got some poke through. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I don't know. We'll work on my rig, probably. I'm gonna start doing these uh, a little more frequently. This week, it's all about um, calibrating the suit, calibrating the hands, maybe going back and checking on my rig. Um, and currently having a lot of body dysmorphia about like what hands are supposed to look like and how big heads are supposed to be and you know what <laughs> when I when I do this for a while I feel like the hands are getting creepy <laughs> and I can't look at them anymore uh, I also had a similar issue with the face and it took a while to get to where the face I felt was like normal and not creeping me out. So I'm sure it's another, another round of growing process. I also think my elbows are kind of like scooting in and they get like tighter and tighter or something. I think when I stop being self-conscious, like I need to talk to you and tell you stuff, I think that's when I'm going to be a little more convinced by my performance here. I also sort of need to figure out where, where to look <laughs> to um, get the... Uh, to make it look like I'm looking at ya. Yeah. 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 See now I've no am I have I drifted? I don't understand. Why am I looking? I think okay, this is me adjusting my headband. And clearly like uh, you know if my if my Also, there's a heck of a delay. Yeah, there's a, there's like a heck of a delay um, because the smart suit has to transmit across the network to Rococo Studio, and then Rococo Studio transmits. Well, I don't know. I was just communicating with my Unity standalone, and the facial. Motion capture is a completely different system that is still face cap. Um, and I think that's coming through at a slightly faster pace because it's transmitting uh, with open sound control directly into the Unity standalone. So again, when I, when I feel like I'm acting or when I'm self-conscious about how I'm standing or what I'm saying, um, yeah, then I'm not as convinced by what I'm doing. I think it's kind of boring and silly and awkward. But when I relax and when I can just communicate and talk and be normal, um, yeah, I think it's better. <laughs> so... I tell you what... Um, come back next week and I will have something more interesting to show you, okay? 
and uh, yeah. So, oh, this is a bit awkward, you see? So if I turn my body, my eyes are no longer looking at the camera even though I am. Huh. 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 Hmm. Oh, okay, so if I had one, one, one piece of advice to give you about doing this, it's learn your network. <laughs> Again, a year ago, I did this with the iPhone, and I had to kind of separate off onto an ad hoc network on my Mac. And I did it again. A friend explained to me how 5G networks work. And so I was able to uh, make sure that my Mac is creating a 5 gigahertz network, not 2.4. The gloves and the suit <laughs> are also set to transmit in 5 gigahertz. And my phone, it doesn't care. It is not, I mean, it's also on the five gigahertz network. So, and I also have a, a small handheld uh, iPod Touch, uh, which is my remote control for the Unity lighting, Unity camera, which I'm just not gonna bother with right now. And that's another thing on the network. So, yeah, you're going to need a 5G network. You want a 5G network, definitely. <laughs> Learn how to set that up. That's my advice. And uh, I think everything's running pretty smooth. <sighs> All right, kids, I'm going to finish my milkshake. <laughs> I'm going to sign out. I'm going to see you soon. And I will, uh, yeah, stay safe. I'll talk to you later. Bye.